So in helping guys in the last couple of months build arrows, it's uh, come to my attention that not everybody understands um, how to measure arrow length and uh, how to figure out what you need to cut your arrows at and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, if you already have arrows that work and like as far as lengthwise, I always tell people to measure it carbon to carbon because then it gives whoever's cutting them for you uh, the easiest way to cut them. But if you uh, are measuring yourself and you're trying to figure out what you need, the proper way is to measure from the knock well. That's where the string sits right here in the knock to carbon. Now you might have this as like a gold tip. You might have an outsert system and that sticks out past this. Do not measure that. Measure to the back of the carbon. Um, if you got one that's already set up, you measure to where the collar um, covers over and like so if you it's not if it's not a removable collar that's what I mean so because you do not want your collar coming up on the rest um, so a simple way to figure this out is to take a piece of cardboard first thing you need to do is determine well what kind of broadhead am I shooting am I shooting a really big wide broadhead that I need to have clearance for the riser or can I cut my arrow shaft back to the rest um, so if you're shooting like a one inch, one and a quarter inch, or any mechanical, I like to cut it to the rest. So when I'm cutting it to the rest, I use a real small piece of cardboard, a stiff piece of cardboard. I drill a hole through it that is uh, just slightly less than the diameter of the shaft that I'm shooting. And you take your full length shaft, put the knock on it, put this on, slide it back more than halfway. I'm going to use my daughter's bow, actually, uh, because these were already cut to my length on my bow, but you'll still be able to see what I'm talking about. Um, I'll put that on there. And if I trim this up so that it clears the clears the riser and could get all the way back to the to the rest, um, you might have to make a couple adjustments until you get that so that it moves easily. But. I've already done that on this one. So I'll draw it back and I'll pull it up and you'll see. And I'll make sure that I'm all the way into my back wall and the cardboard stays. Now I mark it in the front, not the back. So I get that little sliver of the thickness of the cardboard um, as extra added protection, okay? Now, if I wanted it to clear the riser and not just to the rest, I'd use a bigger piece that way it hits there. Uh, like I said, do it three times, make sure you get equal equal measurement. Now, um, like I said earlier, if you're shooting an outsert system, that is going to have a collar that comes over the shaft. So this is a gold tip. On the gold tip system, you need a half an inch more carbon for that shaft to clear the rest. Um, and other systems are different. I'm not really sure what uh, Easton or or um, Victory or Black Eagle or any of those, what they are, but you, it's easy to find that out. Just kind of put it on there, slide it on an empty shaft, figure it out. Oh, okay, mark it, and then measure for that distance. And you just add that to the front of the cardboard. Uh, my titanium uh, collar and insert system is a little bit larger. It comes over more carbon, so you need five eighths as opposed to the half inch like on the cold tip. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, hit me up on social media and I can help you walk you through it. But that's the easiest way for you to determine what you need to cut your arrow shaft at.